This episode is brought to you by PentesterAcademy.com, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Be sure to check out our latest attack defense gadgets on HackerArsenal.com. Hey everyone, I'm sitting down here with Patrick Palm, and today, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, of course. So, is this your first time at Hardware.io conference? It's my first time at a Hardware.io conference, but I've been uh, visiting ha um, hacker conferences uh, since 2001. Okay, and what made you want to get involved in this conference in particular? Yeah, I was invited by the organization of the conference um, to give a talk. Okay, cool. And so now, what do you currently do for a living? I work as a system administrator at a small company, and I also work as a security guard. Um, okay, cool, cool. And so now, let's talk about you. What made you want to get involved in cybersecurity in the first place? Well, I've grown up with computers, um, and uh, it's all around us. Technology, um, the internet is, uh, of course, more popular than 30 years ago. Yep, yep. So you loved it since you were a kid, pretty much? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, and um, so now I know that you just did a talk. So tell me a little bit more about your talk and the highlights of it, please. Um, so um, my talk was about uh, biohacking and implants. And uh, currently, uh, I have uh, 14 implants. I have um, five magnet implants in my fingertips. That's amazing. So now, just for the viewers at home, can you explain what biohacking is, please? Um, biohacking is, um, there, there are different aspects of biohacking. For example, there's um, uh, biohacking where people experiment with uh, DNA, uh, RNA. Um, some people experiment with no topics, um, where they take vitamins, uh, um, change their diet or change their their sleep pattern. Um, and my main focus is on uh, implants. Okay. So let's talk about your implants now because this is the coolest thing I have ever seen in my life probably. So, okay, what implants do you have? Let's just go through them one by one. Um, currently I have 14 implants. I have uh, five magnet implants. Mm -hmm. uh, four of them are in the fingertips. Mm -hmm. um, oh my gosh, so look I, at that. I can uh, lift objects like uh, a screw. A screw a screws. Oh, wow, look at um, that. I can lift uh, nails, mm -hmm. uh, bottle caps, coins, paper clips, you name it. Wow, okay. And what about the other implants? What else do you got going on in here? Um, I also have uh, nine RFID tag implants. Um, oh, an RFID tag in here? RFID, NFC tag here. Okay. Um, wow. And there's one. Uh, this is a low frequency wow. RFID tag. And yeah, I can feel that. And uh, here's one. And what, NFC do you, tag. what do you use these ones for now? Um, uh, this is an NFC tag. I mm -hmm. use this to unlock my smartphone. No way. Can I? Yes, way. Is that really? <laughs> can I see that if that's okay? Of course. I'll be happy to demonstrate. So instead of uh, entering um, a, a, pa code, yeah. a, a passcode mm -hmm. or a pattern, because anyone can look over my shoulder mm -hmm. and see what passcode I'm entering, and mm -hmm. instead of uh, using uh, fingerprints, because uh, anything we touch, we leave our fingerprints. Yes. And also, if your fingerprints are compromised, then you can't uh, change them. Like mm -hmm. you can change a pin code or true, true. or implant. Um, so I just uh, tap my oh phone. Oh my god, that was so fast! And it unlocks my phone. I'll wow. demonstrate this again. That was so fast. That was faster than like even putting a fingerprint in. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Very cool. And the advantage of these implants is the, the, that they're passive. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have a battery, uh, so I don't have to replace them. Oh, nice. And since they're implants, they're um, yeah, completely under the skin. Mm -hmm. So I also use these to um, unlock the doors at home and at the office. Really? Uh, I use this uh, uh -huh. low-frequency RFID tag to unlock the car doors. What? So I don't have to worry about forgetting or losing my keys. Oh or my god, that's incredible. And mm -hmm. okay, so how what, how does it work if you need to if you need to fix it or mess with the implant? Is do you need to ever do that or get in there or? Um, I don't have to physically get in there. Um, I can just reprogram the implant using a smartphone or huh. other, or another RFID um, device, like a RFID cloning device, or you name it. Okay. Um, 
So oh. yeah, these are passive devices. They're um, it's the same technology as uh, Pet ID tag or RFID access card mm -hmm. or uh, public transit card or uh, contactless payment card. Mm -hmm. It, yeah, this technology already exists for many years, and just easier to put it inside of you, I guess, yeah. instead of having to, like you said, remember your keys and try to keep remembering things and forget mm -hmm. it all the time. But, um, another disadvantage of keys is that, um, um, yeah, you, you have to take the keys out of your pocket and mm -hmm. see which key do I need for mm -hmm. this door. All the little things like that, yeah. And so, how how did you get these implanted? Did you get them surgically implanted at a hospital, or how did you do this? Um, well, the, um, uh, these are non-medical devices, so these are not uh, implanted at a hospital. Ah, okay. It's uh, performed at a, usually at a piercing studio, oh. but um, you can also uh, visit a conference and uh, um, sometimes there's a booth uh, mm -hmm. at a conference where you can get an RFID tag implant. Oh, and is this one of the uh, syringes right here, actually? Yeah. Uh, for the RFID tag implants that are the mm -hmm. shape and size of, yep. of this glass uh, transponder, um, it's preloaded uh, in this okay. injection syringe. Yep. And so how this is done, you need uh, two hands uh, to course, perform yes, this. Yes. You need one hand to lift the skin. Ah, oh, okay, pull it up and in a way. And okay. you just uh, hold it in place and then uh, you insert the Ooh. injection syringe. And while the engine, uh, while the syringe is uh, under the skin, mm -hmm. when you uh, retract the injection syringe, then the RFID tag remains under the skin. Wow, and that's it right there. So that's, that's essentially it. what is underneath your skin right there. Yeah. Uh, yes, that is really small, I have to say. A lot smaller than I imagined. Oh my gosh, um, that is incredible. Did it, I have to ask, did it hurt at all when you got it implanted, or what do you think? Um, no, this is the ideal location of these RFID tags, uh, because uh, yeah, between the, the thumb and index finger, or forefinger, yeah, yeah. Um, that's the ideal location, because there's uh, so mostly true. tissue there, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, so uh, there are not many veins or, or nerve endings. Um, Gotcha. So ideal location. Plus, you use your hands to unlock doors. Oh, so true. that's, yeah. Oh, okay. And so, just out of curiosity, do you have any plans for more of these in the future, like anywhere else in your body? Are you going to add yeah. to them? I have a large body, so there's a lot of uh, space for implants. <laughs> do you have any ideas of what else you want to use uh, to unlock and stuff like that? Or? Mm, not yet. I mean, the um, technology is always evolving and. Um, um, one of the newest implants I have mm -hmm. is uh, in here, in my lower arm. Oh, wow. Well, and that one's probably, is that the biggest one? This is the biggest one I have. It's a prototype, mm -hmm. so the final product will be smaller. Like half. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not on the market yet, it's still in the development. Okay, and what, I'm sorry, what is this one do you said now? Um, so, um, it's kind of a smart card. Um, oh, really? So, what I uh, use this for is... Uh -huh. um, I can use it to generate OTP codes okay. instead of receiving them by text message because SMS text messages are not encrypted. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Those can be intercepted. So um, I mm -hmm. hold the smartphone near the implant, mm -hmm. and then it will generate OTP what? codes. What? Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Okay. Yeah, this provides more uh, privacy and security, and I can also use it for PGP, pretty good privacy. Mm -hmm. So if I want to uh, send an encrypted uh, email to my friend, yeah. Amal Grafstra, who is the founder of uh, the company Dangerous Things, oh, okay. the developer, manufacturer of the implants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just tap this um, mm -hmm. and uh, sign the, oh, yeah, yeah, with this yeah. key. Uh -huh. And the private key uh, is on the implant. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about um, the theft of this uh, device. Um, so uh, I'll just type a message like mm -hmm. uh, hello, mm -hmm. and then I, I'll tap here and encrypt, sign and share text. Okay, okay. Now it's asking for a pin code. A pin, yes. So that not everybody can just uh, walk up to me, to me right, and, and right. scan the tag and without my knowledge. And mm -hmm. then it will ask me to uh, tap it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And. Now it will uh, ask me where Oh, I and want it to even prompts you, okay. So I, I'll share it with the email client and fill in the subject. Oh and then gosh. this is the encrypted message where it says uh, hello. Mm -hmm. 
And this seems to work so streamlined. I mean, sometimes I, I put my fingerprint in and my iPhone still gives me issues. You mm-hmm. did every single one and it worked perfectly so fast. I mean, these yeah. seem so much more streamlined than even the things we're trying to unlock today. Yeah. Yeah, and I use these implants uh, every day, so I know how to position mm, my device. The exact sweet spot, essentially. Sweet spot, yeah. That's incredible. Patrick, thank you so much for sitting down with me. This was one of the coolest talks I have had. Thank you so much. This episode was brought to you by Pen Tester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets.